First and foremost, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, you will grab an entire bulb of garlic and slice just the top off of the bulb. Place it on a sheet of tin foil and drizzle it with some oil and sprinkle it with a little bit of salt. Wrap that up and once your oven is preheated to 400 degrees, place that in there for about 10 minutes. While your garlic is roasting, grab a bowl and add to it one and one third cup of warm water, two teaspoons of granulated sugar and give it a stir making sure that the sugar is completely dissolved. And then you're going to want to add one package of active dry yeast. Set that aside for about 10 minutes or until it is frothy and raised a bit. Once your garlic has completed roasting, you're going to, of course, take it out of the tin foil and then you're going to remove each individual clove from its casing and then you are going to chop it up with a sharp knife into small little pieces and then set that aside. To a mixing bowl, add your activated yeast and the water content along with one quarter cup of olive oil and two teaspoons of granulated salt and then you're going to want to add three and a half cups of flour. I recommend adding a little bit of flour at a time, mixing in between. If you're noticing once you've added the three and a half cups of flour that your dough is still sticking to the bowl, you can add up to about a quarter cup more of flour if needed. Once your dough is well mixed, you're going to add in your crushed or minced garlic. Just go ahead and mix that in with your hand, kneading. You don't want to overwork your flour, so just gently knead until it's well mixed. And then add it into a greased bowl. You're just going to set that in there and then grab a damp paper towel and lay that over top and set that aside for about 45 minutes to an hour until your dough has doubled in size. You're going to want to grab a couple sprigs of rosemary. I happen to have some growing in my garden, so it works out perfect for me. Once you have your rosemary rinsed and dried, I have a little trick for you. Grab onto the tip of your stem and then pull the leaves backwards to easily get it off of the stem. You're going to do that with both branches. And then you're going to grab your sharp knife again and chop that up into small little pieces. Once you have it nicely chopped up, go ahead and set that aside. It's been about an hour and I'm just checking on my dough. Oh my gosh, look at that. It has perfectly risen. It is doubled in size. I'm going to go ahead and grab my baking sheet and then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on it as well as on my rolling pin. And then I'm going to roll this out until my dough is about a half of an inch thick. Just taking my time to spread it out onto the pan. You can either make it round or square, whatever you prefer. Once you have it to your desired thickness, you are going to take a damp paper towel and lay it over top and then let that rise for another 20 minutes or so. While that's rising, go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Our dough has beautifully risen once again and now we're going to take our finger and literally push a hole into it, pressing down, touching the baking pan. Trust me, you can't poke deep enough. Just go right on through into the pan all the way around until you have holes poked throughout the dough. Then you're going to drizzle generously about two to three tablespoons of olive oil atop of your dough. I'm not very good at this, so I like to use a basting brush to have it evenly distributed throughout the bread. Then you're going to sprinkle on some coarse, very coarse sea salt and your chopped up rosemary. Sprinkle that evenly atop of your dough and then place it in the oven which has been preheated to 400 degrees and allow that to cook for about 20 minutes or until evenly browned and cooked all the way through. Wow, look at that you guys, 20 minutes later and focaccia made fresh from home, perfectly brown and golden. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know when we post a new video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Mm -hmm.